Hello! Today we are going to speak about development of skull bones and anomalies. The skull is the receptacle of the brain, sensory organs, it's the support for the initial sections of digestive and respiratory system that open outwards. 23 bones form a human skull, 8 paired and 7 unpaired. The skull in all vertebrates is divided into two parts brain case, cerebral cranium, and visceral cranium. The base of skull, basis crania. We distinguish the external and internal base of skull, basis crani, externa et inferna. Cranium brain bones can be unpaired and paired. Unpaired bones are frontal bone, os frontale, occipital bone, os occipitale. Sphenoid bone, os sphenoidale. Ethmoid bone, os ethmoidale. Uh, paired bones are temporal bone, os temporale. Parietal bone, os parietale. Bones of visceral cranium can be unpaired and paired too. Unpaired are vomer, vomer, mandible, Mandibula, hyoid bone, os hyoidum. Paired bones are upper jaw, maxilla, lower nasal conch, concha nasalis inferior, zygomatic bone, os zygomaticum, nasal bone, os nasale, lacrimal bone, os lacrimale. Palatine bone, os palatinum. Anatomical development of skull bones. The main causes of skull formation are progressive development of the brain, sensory organs, restructuring of the gill apparatus surrounding the initial sections of the digestive and respiratory systems. By origin, all bones of the skull are divided into primary arising from the connective tissue without the cartilage stage and secondary, arising from the cartilage model of the bone. Primary bones include squamosis part of the tympanic part of the temporal bone, parietal bone, frontal bone, medial plate of the pterygoid process of the sphenoid bone, palatine bone, vomer, nasal bones, lacrimal bones, zygomatic bones, upper and lower jaws. Secondary bones include occipital bone excluding upper part of occipital squamous part, sphenoid bone without medial plate of the pterygoid process, ethmoid bone, lower nasal concha, and the petrosus part and mastoid of the temporal bone auditory ossicles, the hammer, the incus, and the stapes. Hyoid bone body. Anatomical development of cranium skull bones. The development of cranium skull occurs in three stages. Webbed, cartilaginous, bone. Cranial bones develop from the sclerotomes of hexamides, derivatives of the dorsal mesoderm. The membranous and cartilaginous stages for higher mammals and humans are temporary. They pass one into another and correspond to permanent forms in phylogenesis. The membranous stage begins at the end of the second week of the embryonic period and the cartilage stage from second month. The onset of the bone stage in the different parts of the skull is different. In the lower jaw, the ossification point appears in the 39th day, and in the basilar part of the occipital bone on the 65th day of intrauterine development. Anatomical development of visceral skull bones. In human, there are five branchial arches, but the fifth arch is poorly developed, rudimentary. The first branchial arch is called the mandibular. The first, second and third branchial arch 
cultures participate in the development of the visceral skull. The first visceral arc in humans gives rise to the auditory ossicles, hammer and anvil and mechal cartilage, on the basis of which the lower jaw develops from the mesenchyme. The second arc consists of two parts, upper and lower. The auditory ossicle and the steroid process of the temporal bone develops from the upper part. The lower part goes to the formation of the small horns of the hyoid bone. The large horns and body of the hyoid bone are formed from three branchial arches. And now we're going to speak about anomalies. Acrocephaly is an abnormal and elongated towered head shape caused by premature overgrowth of coronal suture. Microcephaly is a significant decrease in the size of the skull and the brain with normal sizes of other parts of the body. It is accompanied with mental disability. Hydrocephalus is a violation of the normal development of the brain, associated with excessive accumulation of fluid in it. Anencephaly is a rough threshold for the development of the brain, complete of partial absence of the cerebral hemispheres, cranial bones and soft tissues. Sphenoid bone. The oval and spinosus hole sometimes merge into one common hole. There may be no spinosus hole. Frontal bone. In about 10% of cases, the frontal bone consists of two parts. Between them, the frontal suture is preserved. The size of the frontal sinus is variable, sometimes it is absent. Temporal bone. The ugular notch of the temporal bone can be divided into two parts between the ugular process. If there is the same process in the ugular notch or the occipital bone, then a double ugular opening is formed. The steroid process of the temporal bone may be absent, but more often it is long and may even reach the hyoid bone when the steeloheal ligament is ossified. Vomer can be curved left or right. Anomalies of the upper jaw. There is a different number and shape of the dental alveoli and often the unpaired incisor bone inherent in mammals. On the lower surface of the bony palate a roller sometimes forms along the midline. The incisal canal and sinuses of the upper jaw are different in size and shape. The hardest malformation of the lower jaw is the splitting of the hard palate also known as cleft lip. Asymmetry of the lower jaw. The right and the left halves of the body of the lower jaw are often asymmetric. The dimensions of the angle between the body of the lower jaw and its branch are individual. Thank you for your attention. This video was made by Maxim Sherstin, student of General Medicine 224.